hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and of course you know who we got we got simon gabadia posting out on his instagram account flossing and celebrating with this nigerian brother who is a billionaire his dad is a billionaire from what my family my youtube family is telling me okay now I'm like, why is Simon hanging out with somebody that's definitely not his age group? He should be hanging out with DeVito or David O's dad. Now, of course, y'all seen that picture. Well, she has it because somebody's in the um, SUV taking pictures of her. And to me, it seems like she was pissed off because she wanted to be in that Lamborghini with David O or Simon. It doesn't go, it, it, you know, it, it could go either way. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being at home with baby girl PJ, okay? She chose to being at home with baby Ch PJ to hanging out with Simon Gabbardia way across the country, okay? While Dennis is sitting there taking care of baby girl, which he has no problem with that. No problem at all because I, from what is being told, he don't spend that much time with her because Portia has her doing this, that, and the other. And it's always with her or her mother, okay? So, don't think Mama Gina ain't taking all this down, Portia. Don't think Mama Gina ain't taking all this down. Because she has a right to see her grandchild more than you're probably giving her the opportunity to be with her grandchild. Alright, so why are you going around here chasing Simon, following Simon, stalking Simon, however anybody want to look at it. They are taking notes and they're taking notes real well. They're taking notes of how many times you leave PJ to go tracing after a man whom you call your fiance, but we're looking at him as your boyfriend, okay? Or a man you just don't went all willy nilly over. And we don't know if he's worth his grain of salt. Now, like I said, I don't know why she feels like she has to go trace across the country to go hang out with uh, Simon Gabbardia when he didn't ask her to go. And I don't care what nobody say. He didn't ask her to go. She just showed up because she probably thought he was having somebody else over there. Okay? And she was going over there to protect her territory. And leaving baby girl, PJ, both Dennis and her daughter, on probably none other than her mama who's in retirement stage herself and don't need to be having pj as much as she does have her okay whether she was split splitting 50 50 on dennis and his mama taking care of her in atlanta or you know um mama diane taking care of her grandchild but portia just don't seem like she likes to stay at home and don't think like i said dennis and mama gina ain't looking at that shit okay Mama needs to be at home when she has a little girl that's three years old. She don't have time to be tracing after another man when he wants all her time and attention. But at this particular time, only thing he wanted was to have his time by himself. Okay? But Mama Gina is gathering evidence as we speak. I am pretty sure of that. And she's going to probably want Dennis to get full custody. And at this time, how I've been seeing Portia go to and fro, to and fro, it makes sense. Because she don't ever want to stay at home with her own daughter. She don't want to stay at home building and branding herself, rebranding herself. She's just looking foolish out here in these streets. And I don't care how bad her stands of fans, fanatics, however they want to see themselves, she ain't got no business doing none of that. She got only one business that to, and that is to be a good mother to that daughter. Okay, she don't need to be flying off to here, there, and everywhere. She need to be right there with that daughter, okay? Because I promise you, when PJ get a little older and she see who she's being around the majority of the time, and her mama's going here and there, it ain't business. She's just going to be with her man. There's going to be a problem in paradise, okay? There's going to be a problem with her and PJ's relationship as she gets older. But I was just trying to figure out, so, okay, Portia been over there. And Nigeria for maybe a couple of days. I wasn't a week, you know, whatnot. It's what I'm guessing, I'm assuming. And uh, she's been tracing around there, living high on the hog, how my mom used to say. But then she come back to the States and be at a concert. She is at a concert right now, right now, with Yandy Smith and Shamia. It's like she don't never want to listen to nobody. We said go home, be with your daughter. We ain't say make other uh, alternative plans. On your stop back 
to the uh, Atlanta and seeing your daughter. You went out there and went to a concert. Don't know if the concert was in Atlanta. Could have been. I don't know. Uh, but it was a baby face and some, and some other people. But, you know, we got Simon Gabbard. He's just throwing up all these pictures of uh, this billionaire son, David O. When, why are you hanging out with the son? You need to be hanging out with the dad. Okay, you need to be hanging out with the videos of David O's dad, not the video. Okay, I don't understand what's going on. You damn near in your 70s. Okay, you hanging out with somebody in their 20s or early 30s. What sense does that make? What sense does that make, Simon? Okay, and we know Portia, ain't, she ain't got a clue. We don't gave up on Portia. Uh, hell, I don't gave up on her. So, every time she want to post some shit that I can talk about, I will do it respectfully. But I will damn do it. I'm just telling you. Because it don't make no sense. Maybe one day, maybe one day, she'll catch a clue of what is what when what is what. You understand what I'm saying? Being a responsible mom and being there for her child 24-7, 365 days of the year. But it's helpful over here. Before, I'm sure she left Nigeria. She's taking, uh, what's, uh, looking at samples of fabrics. I said, for what, Portia? For what? You ain't going to weigh them? Because those are very nice, elegant uh, materials to make uh, custom dresses for. You ain't gonna wear that. You like showing too much tits and ass and skin. When you were with Simon, you called yourself visiting Nigeria for the first time, his hometown Benin. You were dressed like the culture is supposed to be dressed, all polished, prim, and ready to be presented. Okay, it wasn't no showing her no ass, no tits, and no skin. Okay, you were dressing very appropriate. But over here in the States, you got to dress like a little hoe sometimes. And showing everything and not leaving no nothing to the imagination. Everything is just out there front and center. But you're going to have us believe you're over there buying fabric. What you buying it for? A wedding that has never transpired? Now, we thought April would be the golden ticket month. Because I think y'all solidified yourself in April. I may be wrong. Or it may be May, which is right around the corner. But either way, you and him have been co-opting for at least a year now. All right? So, I don't understand. You didn't waste too much time with Cordell. You damn sure didn't waste no time getting impregnated with Dennis. And now, we know you'd rather be with that young man. Because I know <laughs> you were sweating bullets when you were around him. Because you were doing just a little bit too much in that dance, in that club. Hanging and swinging on him. When brother man got, I thought he was married, but... Uh, one of the family members told me he's not. He's uh, dated somebody for a long time and have kids by her. So, he ain't settled down nowhere. And y'all saw that one eye symbolism? That's all I'm going to say. So, he's a part of that club as well. Uh, but, yeah, I just find it very trifling that Simon would sit out there and hang with somebody younger. Much, much younger. That could have been his son, really. That, that's He's hanging out with his son. He ain't hanging out here on like they partners of this, that, and third. And the video was like, okay, you showed me a good time when I was in Atlanta. I'm going to show you a good time down here. But you would have thought that his dad would have been a present uh, to be around Simon. So I'm like, hmm, I'm going to be a little messy here, Simon. So you're trying to get to the son, to get to the billionaire dad. And he shows you a little bit more respect. And you can hang out with them. And I'm pretty sure they drink cigars and whatever. But they're a little bit more respectful. They have wives. Okay. You can be plural on that. But they have wives. You are treating Portia more like a hoe. A call girl. Or come be with me when I need you. But other than that, I don't want you. Okay. That's what is seemingly the energy that you're giving us. And I don't know why Portia wants to sit there and be so stupid. But stupid is where she's at. Stupid city. Stupid city is what they call it. And Portia and Simon resides right there. All right. Now, you can y'all see Portia dressed up there like that every day? Can y'all see Portia in an outfit like that every day? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Even she had to make that little garment uh, look sexy without her big boobs okay and that's not what the Nigerian culture women are about they are not about that life where they show everything and leave nothing to the imagination so Portia you wanted us to really believe you were over there shopping for fabrics for clothing <laughs> 
girl that was a laugh i'm glad you gave it to me today because i needed to laugh and i'm like girl you are a mess and a half a mess and a half i mean are you gonna make a jumpsuit out of it it's, it's gonna be thigh slimming where they can catch uh, a glimpse of your behind okay because portia you, you you don't dress that way it would be nice to see you dress up in african attire and their customs and getting into that because we know you like their food we know you like their music the young uh folks m music not the old school but yeah you jam into that song called finesse and it, w it was kind of cute too i can't say i liked it, the song as well but uh yeah portia we see you we don't understand you but we will continue to talk about you because you give me commentary every time i take a look on social media you give me something to talk about and dennis is just sitting there watching your every move your comments and goings and how long you sit there and be without your daughter while you tracing out the trampling out the stalking over uh this man that you calling is your fiance your husband and not paying attention to your daughter and in some states they will call that abandonment other states will call that uh call uh, child protective services to see why you're not spending quality time with your daughter why is she being tossed around to other family members while you go traipse out there this billionaire okay millionaire zillionaire however you want to see it but closest to the streets are saying uh he's in the hundred thousands okay but uh, you know tiff tack who gives us rats ass you know about it so we're not really caring about all that but we're caring about the time that you're spending and the money that you're spending trying to go hang out with simon and also coming back to the states and hanging out in the streets with other local celebrities here okay because uh, we got footage you know we can roll footage on you every day because you sit up there and post shit on your instagram account that's very incriminating which gina mama gina and definitely your baby daddy can use against you in the court of law they're gonna have your time frame to where you spend more time out the country or out the state trying to be around that man you're trying to solidify yourself and submit a marriage document on him when baby girl pj needs your time and your attention and she needs you present more than you're away okay but like i said i am pretty sure dennis is enjoying every minute but he's not understanding why oh why why oh why that you need to continue running after this man now fallon made a fool out of uh simon now simon is making a fool out of you i don't understand it make it make sense but portia girl we want you to do better but we see you're still stuck on stupid and you're in thought land and you in make it make sense land all right because you're in shit's video right now whether you really know it or not why you got your fans or your fanatics telling you oh you're living your best life oh you do see she looks very matronly right she looks very motherly right there so Portia basically want us so she wants to give us the impression that she's going to be dressing where she's dressing more classy okay and i'm not, and not trashy but you know we saw her on the beach and on guilla do you really think simon is going to let her uh wear the styles of clothes after they become mr and mrs if that ever happens and that's a big if they ever happens because from what I'm understanding, she needs to solidify herself. Yes, herself back on some social media type of platform. Okay, that's his game. That's how he's seeing himself at this point. And that's what he needs Portia to do. And while she's out here taking all these fictitious pictures just for cloud chasing i guess to let us understand that she is with a billionaire she is with a millionaire and we can't do nothing about it nah, 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 boo -boo. then why are you taking money your own personal money flying out the country okay 10 and a half 12 hour flight like on birthday say you're doing too much you're doing too much girl and your bank account, which I should not be worried about because it ain't mine. I ain't putting that in. I ain't taking nothing out. But I thought it would basically be just for commentary and me just talking about it with my fam. 
How many times are you going to trace back and forth trying to follow him and taking all the money out of your bank account? Are you saving anything for PJ's future or you're spending it hoping you can replace it back once you become Mrs. S uh, Simon Gabadia? Okay? Because quite as kept lies I'm going to speak it out. He's renting everything, baby. So we could tell about his assets just a little bit. We just peeping through the window just a little bit. We don't know. We really don't know. The man could be sitting there as a, a, a zillionaire. We don't know. But he's definitely keeping a long handed spoon with you because there's nothing, there's no reason why you and him can't get married. Okay? Y'all don't need Bravo's money. He's a billionaire from what you say. You don't need um Bravo's money. Or basically, just get married. And then you can pitch an idea to them, if they're willing to listen. Let them follow you and Simon's comings and goings after being married. See what finances y'all have. See how y'all making y'all money. Uh, make it rain and all that kind of stuff in your bank accounts. How y'all are developing companies or products for the masses of consumers can consume we want to see where and where y'all are doing to inspire us because simon always dropping out poetic things about i am trying to inspire not to oppress anyone really really okay good get it got it good but we want to see how you made your millions if it's kosher if it's legal we would like to see because since you want to uplift us and you don't want to see us as crabs in a bucket fighting and stuff, teach us the tools of how you got yourself where you're at now. Because you don't need to be on reality TV. Just show and prove. Live your best life. You ain't got to show us all this stuff on social media. Okay, most billionaires, most zillionaires don't do that anyway. Unless the paparazzi is following them. And I damn sure believe, don't believe the paparazzi are following you and uh, Portia around. That's why y'all got y'all own photographers such as Do Girl, Lauren, uh, Portia's uh, second assistant. It's not her door. I mean her sister. We're talking about her um, friend, okay? She gets free trips, I guess. I'm hoping. I hope she ain't paying her money trying to go follow Portia, what Portia pays her. But we're just going to say... She follows, she accompanies Portia here and there and everywhere so she can have that photo opportunity. Now, here she's at some type of gathering. Uh, I did see it. I think she was out seeing Babyface in concert, the artist uh, Babyface. And, um, yeah. And I think she went to a new edition concert as well. I think these are two separate concerts she's showing. Uh, that one right there, I think she's at a new edition concert. Because uh, I think Yandy was there and Shamia was there and some other lady in a black and white dress. Okay. Yeah. And then she went to see Babyface. So I'm like, okay, if you did all of this after you came back from Nigeria, when did you have time to sp speak and greet and hang out with baby PJ? I'm just saying. So you can't dress like that once you get married to Simon and you one of his wives. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure he going to want another wife in the picture. Not another baby. Not another child. But he going to want another wife. Okay. And it would be a shame and a scandal if he would get another wife that's his age and he shows her off more so at public events, uh, socialite events for the elite. Okay. I don't know who that man is, y'all. Who that man is? He must be a boxer of some sort. But again, like I said, really don't know why. Because David O went in the building before Simon went in the building. <laughs> Isn't that stupid, y'all? How is the old man following somebody young to put him on the map of people knowing who he is, how he is? Okay. And I don't remember seeing DeVito coming to Atlanta when uh, Simon, I think he said, uh, he treated him well when he came to Atlanta, so David O was returning a favor. But I don't see anything on their Instagram account showing that David O was here in Atlanta. Okay, so I'm like, is that that's something made up too, Portia Simon? Is that something made up? I know that little girl is not made up, and she needs her mother. She needs her mother's attention 24-7, 365 days of the year. Okay? And it just... 
makes me think that Dennis may have had her some of the time, but not all of the time that Portia was away. And she probably didn't even want to tell Dennis that she was away. Because as long as PJ was together and the mama always be handing her off to him when it's time for him to come over to visit with PJ, he would not have thought anything of it unless he asked okay but then if he's watching social media then he knows Portia was out of town chasing after her wannabe boyfriend how she's putting out in the public her fiance all right but i'm just saying mama gina and uh don't think mama gina ain't in cahoots with the uh law and the court system don't think she won't have her way when it comes to her granddaughter because grandparents do have rights legal rights to their grandchildren you cannot not let them see their grandchildren i don't know when that was enacted but i did hear about it sometime long ago but that's all i have for this video guys y'all like to live we gotta have more you know i'll come with it i will come on with it now because i'm trying to figure out how portia thinks she over there buying fabrics in Nigeria prior to her leaving the country thinking okay who's gonna sew them up for you girl and how are they gonna look on you because you, you ain't used to wearing clothes you ain't what used to uh, wearing clothes that cover up everything I mean how are these fabrics gonna be sewn together I want to see them I want you to definitely put your uh what do you call it seamstress let her let us see her uh designing whatever outfit that you call yourself wanting to wear with these gorgeous fabrics you're getting from nigeria girl we hell i want to know even if the rest of my youtube family don't want to i want to know because i'm curious <laughs> i'm always curious and i'm all up, always up in your business because you you make it so easy to do commentary on you you just post in and everything and that's just, that's crazy, Portia. Live like you got some business about yourself. Don't put everything out in the streets for people to talk about or say something about. Okay? Do better. We keep wanting you to do better, but you keep failing miserable, miserably. All right? But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.